So I have a problem. I'm supposed to lap up this talent for a commercial shoot fairly soon. And from what I gathered, the talent is supposed to be wearing a suit and tie looking attire. Now, normally I would stick my transmitter inside the back of their pants if their outfit doesn't require a jacket. Then I'd simply tuck away the access wire we see from the lav mic. But as humans, we tend to sweat in warm conditions. And especially when multiple lights are beaming on our face from multiple hours of the day. And this can definitely affect the transmitter because the transmitter is clipped onto the back of that talent's pants. And if sweat is dripping down and comes into contact with the transmitter, that's not good. So how am I gonna work around this? Well, luckily, I happen to own a Viviana waist strap. And I also have an Ursa thigh strap but which one would I rather use for the situation and why? Well, all that boils down to personal choice. But in this video, we're gonna be taking a deeper look at both of these straps and comparing their quality. So stick around. So let's first take a look at the Ursa thigh strap. Based on what B&H tells me on their website, the Ursa thigh strap is a stretchable thigh strap with a standard vertical pouch. It offers comfort and breathability. Its low profile hook and loop fastener provides a secure fit around the leg. Its tacky polyurethane grip prevents the strap from slipping down your leg. And it stretches up to 24.8 inches. The transmitter pouch is 3.9 inches tall and 3.1 inches wide. The pouch is stretchable in order to accommodate for small and large transmitters. The polyurethane grip inside the pouch keeps the transmitter securely in place. The strap is also machine washable, or you can just put it in warm soapy water and dry it on a hook. And its color-coded labels allow quick identification and strap sizes. And it's manufactured by hand in the United Kingdom. Now let's take a look at the Viviana waist strap and its features. The strap in general has 45 inches of unstretched length. And just like the Ursa strap, it offers comfort and breathability. But this strap offers soft, slim, stretchable fabric. And it features a universal transmitter pouch size. So no matter what kind of transmitter you're using, whether it be Electrosonic, Deity, Zaxcom, the pouch will be able to fit into that strap regardless. And the Viviana waist strap was designed specifically to be put around your talent's waist and allowing a comfortable fit with breathability and not have the strap just suffocating you while you're acting. Oh yes, I'm speaking my lines, but this thing is just so tight around my stomach, I can't breathe. Whew. The sound guy just switched me to the Viviana waist strap and I feel much better. The specialized pouch fabric prevents sweat from reaching your transmitter. That is when it's in contact with the skin. And just like the Ursa strap, the Viviana waist strap also features a hook and loop strap to keep your microphone wire securely in place. And the Viviana waist strap offers, wait for it, double the cable pouches. So it comes with two cable pouches, a pouch on each side of the transmitter. And this smart design lets you tuck in your wire quickly so you don't waste any time on set. And just like the Ursa straps, the Viviana straps are color coded so they're easily identical by their size. So what do I personally think of the two straps? Well, the Ursa strap and the Viviana strap are great products and there shouldn't be a barrier stating which product is better than the other because honestly, both straps work very efficiently. But if I had to go with my personal favorite, I would have to say that the Viviana waist strap is my favorite. And I say this because I prefer the hypoallergenic grip that the Viviana waist strap is made of. This grip allows for a lot more comfort on the skin and it makes the grip of the strap more tight and secure around my waist. After having used the Ursa thigh strap on many talons, their waist, their legs, their ankles, I noticed that during intense scenes when they're sweating, the straps just felt super slimy and they didn't do the best with preventing sweat from reaching the transmitter. I mean, they did a decent job, but I feel like the Viviana waist strap does an even better job with preventing sweat from reaching the transmitter. Because because again, the fabric Viviana uses is more suitable and is designed specifically for the skin. And I mean, I have four Ursa thigh straps, which I've used for two different movies now, and the Ursa straps work great. But again, I just feel like the Viviana strap has a little bit more to offer. And for my preference as an audio mixer and sound person, it's definitely the better option for me. After watching and listening to what you heard in this video, what are your thoughts on the Viviana waist strap and the Ursa thigh strap? Have you used the Ursa strap before or the Viviana strap? And based on what you watched in this video, what is it about these straps that would make you want to use them? So now that you've learned about two great products, the Ursa strap and the Viviana a strap, did you know that Viviana designed a smaller strap for your ankle? Well, if you didn't already know that, you can click or tap the video right next to me to learn more about the Viviana ankle strap. Or to watch the latest video on this channel, click or tap the video right below it. To learn more about Viviana straps, I'll have links provided in my video description. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more valuable content on audio production and movie making. My name is Jeffrey Hack. Thank you for watching. Now let's go make a movie.